Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Today, the topic is understanding workplace as learning environments. The word workplace has many interpretations for the people who participate in it. It could be a place where people can associate and make friends. Gossiping about other workers' private life. It is considered as a learning place where many skills can achieve. People only concentrate on working hours, money, and ignore the real meaning behind it. Example: the task. People wish to promote and become famous or popular. The best choice would be to understand workplace as a learning environment with many tasks learned. It is a place where people can become experts if the skills achieved and facilitate the whole workplace environment. The workplace is not a place for gossiping and becomes involved in other desire or pressure. Especially if the workers happen to be a novice, a novice cannot work well if he or she is too busy to participate in other things other than tasks. A novice cannot last long in a workplace if. The achieving of the task is not the only aim. Just remember, the only adequate training for work is training through work, according to Dewey, nineteen sixteen, cited by Billet, two thousand one. And also, learning is ubiquitous in an ongoing activity, though often unrecognized as such. If education not aimed in the workplace, a worker cannot participate in goal-directed activities. The mindset of such is one that is wandering around, looking for pressure, and the hope is the payday. Village two thousand one stated, in learning. A worker depends on the kinds of activities that individuals engage. They are assessed to the contribution of situational factors, including support and guidance. How people engage, interact, and interpretatively construct knowledge from these situations. The human nature tells us that we must strive to be famous, promotion in jobs, win the favor, favor of our fellow workers, and or to be popular. But without the knowledge, provides no help to the society because there is a lack of knowledge and experience. When it comes to real problems solving, the individual is bound to be hopeless in dealing even the simple situation that comes towards them. Therefore, workplace provides the opportunity to learn, test tolerance, to examine the meaning of the task, to become an expert, and to get skillful in dealing with even the most. Challenging or testing situations, and work, especially in the highly risky jobs. Learning through everyday activity provides a worker with knowledge in one activities and outcomes. To reinforce what we have already learned, routine activities 
and to recreate new knowledge, non-routine activities. 2. Problem solving For example, routine and non-routine problem solving. 3. Analogous For instance, Piaget's assimilation, routine activities, near transfer and Piaget's accommodation, non-routine activities for trans transfer. When we understand the above simple knowledge, then we will know why we need to understand that workplace should be regarded as a learning environment. Thank you for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.